because you need 100 rupees, like I said earlier, for a bottle. The bottle holds either a fairy or a magical potion which can heal you and your magic. Or just your magic or just your life. Sir, how have you, get, have you been going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Oh yeah, they can also hold bees. I'll stop right up. Make your life complete. I've got one on sale now for the low, low price of 100 rupees. Now, what I don't get is the low, low price of 100 rupees when you can only hold 999. So technically, that's uh, a lot of your money. Yeah, he just has one for sale and he has four uh, to his left. To his left. There is four sitting there. Uh, I might as well buy it. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. Now hold it above your head for the whole world to see. Okay? Okay. It's good for business. That doesn't make me want to do it now. But if you insist. Yeah! You all got a bottle! This is a magic bottle. You can store an item inside it and then use it later. Now what's awesome about this is that you can uh, hold fairies in it. And fairies are really, 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 really helpful. That's a lot of reallys, I know. You'll see why later. Jonathan, if you want to do the narration with me, oh. come over here. And right here, surprisingly enough, is another one. And that is good because I can now hold two things. Fairies and an instant life restore. I'll show you later. And if I don't die later because of some strange coincidence, then whatever. And here is a secret, technically. People might miss. I got two bottles. Whoa! Oops. Forgot the river rats in here. See? And you can get actually come in and out and just keep filling yourself up. I think. Pretty sure. Until you're full. Yep. I think I can only hold uh, so many bombs. Well, no shit, you can hold so many bombs and uh, arrows. Damn you. Alright. I think you get 30 arrows when you first get it. Well, we'll find out. Alright, I can definitely get 30. Yep, 30 is my max right now. Now, later you can uh, buy so you can be able to hold more, which is really helpful. But it can get costly. I think you have to pay 100 rupees. And you can hold like 50 bombs and like 80 arrows, I think it is. No, I think in the Super Nintendo version, um, there's a limit. And that was fun. Yes, yeah, don't attack the chickens. Like in all the other ones, I'll show you what it does. Uh, I want to pick you up. Come here. 
Damn, the chicken sounds screwed up. Watch what happens. It's awesome. Come on. Yeah, you want to. Come on. Now this chicken will be dead. Yeah, that's what happens. Flying chickens will murder you until you leave that area. See, here's the potion. But uh, later you get a different place, which I'm going to soon because I have to, where you can get, um, it's better, much better. Yeah. He marks the spot where I'm supposed to go, but I'm not going there yet. Is there, Jonathan, is there any hard pieces in the town except the two that I already got? How many hard pieces are in the town? I know I gotta go this way. Yes, I know there's a maze. Oh, well, let's do the maze one the next time. Because I'm right there. Yes, you gotta... Yeah, blow up the wall, because... Don't talk to them, it just takes forever. They just... He just bitches like his brother's being an asshole, and he's like not talk, and he's not talking to him because they were assholes and had a fight. And this guy says, since it's open, we might as well. I might as well go see, check him out, and say, "Hey, brother, I'm tired of fighting." Uh, yeah, go this way, go as fast as you can because you got 15 seconds. And yes, there's a timer. I did it 11. And he gives you this as a prize. Awesome, huh? It's awesome! It's a very easy maze. Anyways, let's go this way. I don't do the, um... Uh, little, uh... Games that they have in this game. Because I find it pointless. And how the fuck did he see me? See, normally... No one would be able to see me. But for some reason, blue ones are smarter than green. And it takes more to kill them. And that guy has a bow and arrow. See? Go this way. Just run right by these guys. They won't see ya. Now, here's something that's pretty awesome. If you go back to your home, there's uh, three bottles here that'll always refill. And you can just keep getting hearts. As many as you need. <clears throat> I know that. That's what I'm going for next. The place I'm going to next is actually a spot where you can actually fight. Where you, yeah, where you actually fight the uh, second Dark World boss. And yes, there is people hiding in grass. Smoke this grass. That holds three bombs, so if you're low on bombs, get that. You have to go out and come back in and uh, pull, push them the right way. Now, the reason I'm doing this, letting this out the water, is because in the dark world you have to do that. But since I'm here in the light world and haven't even beat one of the bosses yet, that's why, right there. Now there's also something else you can do. You see this little fishy? You can take it back to that guy with the bottles, and he'll give you a shitload of stuff. But you gotta dodge every enemy the whole way back. It can be a pain in the ass. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Now this guy, see if he comes here. He'll give you something special if you get him. Like that, I needed that. Well, this is just a fairy. I believe. Yep. Now, I don't know where every single heart is. So, I'm not going to 100% uh, beat it with all the hearts, but you don't need one, all of them to beat it. These guys are pretty awesome, they usually give you 20 rupees like that. And crabs will take two life away from you. 
So don't touch it. Unless you feel like dying. Now these are enemies you will see much later in the game. But still in the light world. Come this way. Don't get hit by them because they will... Well, every enemy will kill you, I guess. That's not a good thing to say. Um, just don't touch them. Try not to get by them like I did. Kill them and go in this room that's in here. 